Alright. I'm Monami. By now. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. Okay. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. That's why I'm gonna fight too. At a girl. I will fight the only way I can. That's basically it. At a rabbit. So if we're working together, where do we start? Why don't we try removing all our in the beginning? Our discussion advanced. It's better to confirm if there are other possibilities. If something other than the spear killed Nagi. That was definitely a gruesome wound. But hmm. if you think Poison. the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds, hmm. are we finished? I feel like. Then let's bring up whatever we can think <gasps> of, one after the other. That he might felt the cuts. We threw at him with poison. Exactly. We. Sh Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right. It's not the other wounds. With all those wounds, maybe he simply bled to death. No. There's no way he burned to death. No. Was the cause of death something that cannot be seen? Correct. I agree with that. At a girl, Sonia. You always know what's right. That's it. I totally forgot about that possibility. Poison! If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. Boys, it is true that poison is not something we can see. I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. He had poison in his fridge! Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. Killing? I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. If poison was a cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? But, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood... It'd be impossible to tell. There's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That dirty genius! That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were pulled. He didn't have to drink it! His left hand was tied up in... If it, it was vaporized. a slow acting poison, it <coughs> is possible he consumed it in advance. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears. No. You're totally no. overvaluing that tail. No. His mouth no, was tails. covered with duct tape, you know. If he wanted to drink... If there's no way he could have drank... Just kidding. It's not... Are there any left? Hell no. No matter... Since we've already ruled out so many pos... Operation Elimination Method. Vaporization. Freaking logic dive. I can spell vaporization. Mm. Only two things? This is gonna be a short dive. Probably. Short, probably one of the hardest ones yet. Woo! Ah! Poison when it affected him, it was a gas. I'm taking chemistry. Oh god, they're one shin! Ah! <laughs> oh! I wasn't expecting the fourth one! I got chipated. <laughs> I guess that way is faster, but this way is much safer. 
I value the safety. How did it enter? Through his nose. He done sniffed it up because his mouth was covered. He couldn't go in through the bloodstream, probably. Whee! That's it. He sucked it up through his nose. It's all coming together! Yes, it is. I haven't done one with four yet, and that worries me. This isn't gonna be the last time it's through What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? It's written on the poison's warning label. Very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread... I see! Oh yeah, hydrolysis! The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of... Well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! <laughs> she knows chemistry! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air. So it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. But he was tied to the floor! So Nobito was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it, huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Get wrecked. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poisoning. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach. So what? Huh? We figured out that Nagito... In the end, it does... Nagito inhaled the poison he... Pre well, with this, we have a clearer... All right. All the mystery should be uh, What? There's What's his motive? Hey, what happened? There might have been an accomplice. <gasps> oh no. Ch Chiaki, what did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Because we threw it at him! Anything that looked like... Oh, if no! Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's... I see! The meat on the boat. <laughs> Are you talking about the container? Yeah. If Nagito brought... He can't carry around... Po yeah. Plastic container away from sunlight. It's probably plastic or glass from even the plastic fragments of the We threw the grenades! Does that mean someone got So that's why you mentioned an accomplice? No! We killed him! It was us! That is impossible! I mean No! And a like I mean even You're right. Ah, you're right! No! Right? No! <laughs> Guys, we threw it! That's no Damn good. It. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us by calling this Nagito suicide. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? Correct. <laughs> the pastel? That's pretty messed up. Yep. Shut up. I, I get what you're saying, but even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. Oh, no. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless. No, because right? we killed and him. Even if there really was, like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it... But I just can't imagine... It's fine, okay? And we probably just didn't notice it. Like, maybe... <gasps> Hangman's Gambit! Fire extinguisher? Not 
Oh, it's a grenade. Fire grenades. Grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. He used one of the fire grenade canisters? And we threw them at him! Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container <coughs> that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. Because it should have been there from all along. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Or maybe an accomplice Which means... Yeah, that has... When I first discovered those fire... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal. The... That is true, but... Hold on. Did you say aluminum? I've got evidence he has aluminum. Hajime. If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's a- Sonya's words are proof, huh? He left it in his room! I can prove it with this! Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no that is not just a piece of trash. It's evidence. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? Yes. There's more. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. For when he was transporting it. Did he use the... It's a dangerous poison, after all. So what? Nagito put the poison in the grenade. So in the end, he still... Y you're right. The canister wasn't thrown away. See, I... I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. You, you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. <gasps> what did you say? Hey. What the hell? Is this not settled? No, it's not. J Jockey? I'm sorry. Realized. We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When I thought along those. The we threw it. Probably. I we see. threw the grenades! It was one of us! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. No, he made a situation where we can't even tell who killed him. God damn it! When we all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse, the poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. No! <laughs> If that is true... One of us? What the heck?! One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean... He didn't kill himself. Oh no! What the heck? <laughs> you said so, you're... The... You mean... Do you... Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade was Nagito. I see! Right? He prepared it. It was Nagito. Then who set the warehouse fire that caught- That was also Nagito. Right? I see! That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times- The next question will be my- Why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To make someone throw the poison! Don't tell me 
He, he set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? It was a trap. It was a trap! A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. God damn it! S seriously, I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. No! It's the perfect trap! No! Huh? C could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. No! And for that reason, he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. No! What, what the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? That despair-obsessed, crazy genius. It's the perfect plan! To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. No! How are we gonna tell who did it? And then... And then he dropped the spear! Oh, hold, hold on! <coughs> if that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death! It might be the poison's fault he let go of this- Even so, the poison is- That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! But who was it? Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Jibated! Even the wounds all over his body. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. That's all he wanted to prove? He prove. probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. Damn it! As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. No! For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Debated. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up. It is my fault. Because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry. Please vote me as a killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not... But... What should we... It's impossible. It, impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. <laughs> Disgusting genius. Huh. However... That's right! There's no way he- If Monokuma doesn't know, his trial doesn't count! Isn't that right? You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times! I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya! And one of those visits seemed to take a while. <laughs> Please stop! I will never become clean! Uh, How can you? So, of course this try- Yes, he says. <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to do that? I don't know, baby face. Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunt, there's one way. <laughs> hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's- I want to make sure my hunch is correct, Hajime. Okay. Alright. I got it. Let's do this then. Comics drip time. Closing argument.
Oh god. What was inside his fridge? Poison. It's not here. Right before switching the poison, let's remove the lid. What's placed inside the broken room? What's beyond Monokuma's panel? Nothing. His whole body wasn't tied up to sold an arm. How do you support the spear with the doll? In order to hurt himself, he stabbed himself a bunch. Dropped the knife up with the doll. Went to the warehouse. Uh, fire. Poison. He made the spear fall. Alright. Twelve whole pages. Okay. Was inside the fridge? Don't have that. We put inside the green room. Poison. Light. Whole body wasn't tied up. Stock three. How do you support the spear? A lot of fire grenades. What's inside the fridge? The special poison. Dropped off the knife or something, we don't have that. Warehouse. Made the spear fall. Video message. Lastly. Made the spear fall. Oops, I let go of the card. Dropping the knife up or something. The bear. Here's everything that happened in this case. <coughs> the person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Special poison. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory, and put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's... Like in order to set up a fire, Nagito person. arranged the monochroma <laughs> panels in a line going from the it. door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter <laughs> in front of it. You can't tell who anyone is except for Nagito. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied himself up. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of night. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. That crazy scrub. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. 
He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushy factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. Because we didn't know he had any poison! The poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique... That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is. Because the try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. So the killer is everyone. The fact that we can't determine the killer's identity. We got a one in six chance. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um, Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? Are you saying we just... What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. So I hope can lose. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. But then who threw the grenade? What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? I want you to try to remember what... What did Nagito believe in? Despair? Oh. Damn it! His talent! I see! His luck! Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. Not me! But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? <coughs> it almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No. There's no way. Wh what did he do? You know... 
He wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming A target? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. He got the traitor specifically to throw the poison bottle? As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean he left his plan to luck? This guy's insane. He risked his life for that? He, did? he probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? The traitor. I see. That's it. The traitor. Nagito was 